Hi, I'm Sally from Sally's Baking Addiction, and today we're breaking down the barrier to Swiss meringue buttercream. If you've never tried this recipe before, or if you failed in the past, this video and recipe tutorial will help guarantee Swiss meringue buttercream success. This frosting is ultra light and creamy, holds its shape perfectly, and the best part, and why everyone loves it, is that it's not overly sweet like most other frostings. You can find this full recipe on my blog, sallysbakingaddiction.com. Before we begin, make sure you have the right tools. You need a large heat proof bowl and a saucepan or a double boiler if you have one, a whisk, and an electric mixer. A hand mixer will do, but I strongly recommend using a stand mixer because the mixing process is very long. An egg separator is helpful to make sure no yolks make it into the bowl. Even the smallest amount of fat could prevent the meringue from setting up. An instant read thermometer is helpful too, though not required. Wipe down your mixing bowls, whisk, and mixer attachments with a touch of lemon juice or white vinegar before starting. Any grease residue will prevent the meringue from setting up. The first step is to whisk egg whites and sugar together in your heat proof bowl. I strongly recommend separating the egg whites one at a time in a separate bowl just in case one breaks. Place the bowl over a pan of simmering water. Don't let the bottom of the bowl touch the surface of the water. Constantly whisk as the gentle heat cooks the egg whites and sugar together. The mixture will be thick and tacky at first, then thin out as it cooks. The mixture is ready when it reaches 160 degrees Fahrenheit, 71 degrees Celsius. You can also test the mixture with your fingers. Be careful, it's very hot. You shouldn't feel any sugar granules. Now it's time to whip the mixture into stiff peaks. I'm going to pour the mixture into this glass bowl so you can see it. Normally I would keep it in this metal mixing bowl that also attaches to my mixer. Whisking into stiff peaks takes several minutes, so don't be alarmed if 15 minutes has gone by. On particularly humid days, it could take even longer. If it's taking far too long, stop the mixer and place the mixing bowl in the refrigerator before returning to the mixer. reaching stiff peaks, we'll add cool room temperature butter. This butter isn't straight from the refrigerator, nor is it overly soft. It's cool to the touch. If you want to be extra accurate, the butter should be 60 degrees Fahrenheit, 16 degrees Celsius. Switch your mixer to the paddle attachment. Beat in the butter one tablespoon at a time. Wait for the butter to fully incorporate before adding the next tablespoon. Now for the final step, let's beat in the vanilla extract and salt. Mm -hmm. 
Your Swiss meringue buttercream should be thick, creamy, and silky smooth and is ready to be piped or spread on any cake, cupcake, or confection. For all of my troubleshooting tips, including how to fix a curdled texture or soupy consistency, see my blog post. I include make-ahead storing and freezing instructions too. Hope you enjoy!